The one request or word on Ruth's lips throughout chapter two is her need and search for favor. Why? Because she is acutely aware of her own broken situation and desperate needs. Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. We're studying the book of Ruth, and today we take note of Ruth's awareness of her need of grace or favor, as she likes to say. Listen to what it says in chapter 2, verse 2. Let me go to the field and glean in the field after him in whose sight I should find favor. Chapter 2, verse 10. Why have I found favor in your eyes? Verse 13. I have found favor in your eyes. The idea behind this phrase, find favor in your eyes, is one of being at someone else's complete mercy. It was commonly used in the court system to refer to an inferior's complete dependency upon a superior to grant that which was desired. There was no presumption. There was not an appeal to a person's rights or what they may deserve. And this is exactly what we see in Ruth. She knows that she is at the mercy of someone else to grant her what she needs. She's not declaring her rights, and she's not holding up the law on someone else's face saying, you have to do this. No, she is completely dependent upon the grace and the kindness and the mercy of someone greater than she is to provide for her what she cannot provide for herself. She's hungry, and so was her mother-in-law, Naomi. They needed to eat to survive, so she comes humbly with no assumption of privilege. She would not. She could not glean in someone else's field without the express permission of the one in charge. So you see her that she knows she needs mercy and grace to survive, that she cannot provide it on her own and leans completely upon someone else to give it to her. This is the position of the person in whom the Spirit of God is doing a sanctifying work. They do not come claiming their rights and privileges. They come expressing their great need, acutely aware that they are destitute unless God does something on their behalf. They come knowing that they do not need simply a helping hand, but a rescue. They are completely dependent. They need mercy and grace and kindness placed upon them. They know their status. Ruth says, I am a foreigner. A person on whom the Lord is doing his redemptive work freely says, I am a sinner. I need grace, Lord. Jesus told this parable about two men. One, a well-to-do person who prayed, Lord, thank you that I'm not like these other sinners, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast, I give, I serve. And then Jesus pointed out a man, the tax collector, an outcast, a foreigner, who stood far off. He couldn't even lift his eyes to heaven, but rather he beat his chest saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. And then Jesus said, this man went down to his house justified. He had received God's grace. He had found favor. Today, please pray for Filomeno Kakilala and his family, our missionaries in the Philippines. And also remember the Spanish Life Word broadcast that's heard in North, Central, and South America.